Welcome to a vanilla rostern video. Today I went solo on a new rostern server and as always I'm going to go from a spawn with nothing to getting high tier loads all alone. We're going to PvP, do multiple monument runs, all without homing or TPing. The server is also quite new and has a ton of new features and mods so make sure to watch the entire video. If you guys perhaps want a series on the server make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Also subscribe to not miss any future videos, each one helps the channel grow its own. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. If you're watching and you want to claim your prize please join my discord over discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going through another one which is a burning dango PDW. If you want to win this mythical make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below and if you are a channel member you also have a higher chance of winning. Before we dive into the video I would like to shout out today's sponsor which is the same server that this video is recorded on. This server has functional scientists, a completely different crafting UI than all the other Rostern servers which is very very similar to the real Rust one. There is a custom map and also custom mods. There's also a bunch of new guns as well. Server has custom made terrain entries, a different style of item stacking, working recycle, furnaces, and much much more. If you guys want to check it out, I have the Discord, as well as the IP and the port all in the description below, which is also showing on the screen right now, and make sure to check it out, and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, so I just joined the server, and first thing I saw was a bunch of scientists, so it's kinda cool that we know that there's gonna be functional scientists, but yeah, we're in a brand new Rust server. I have not played here at all, um, there's a sentry on me already, but I think it has no ammo. What we're going to do is we're going to farm as much wood as possible. You also get wood from this, uh, it's actually kind of sick. I'm gonna do myself an own group. I'm gonna play solo today though, I'm not gonna be joining anybody. First things first is I'm gonna farm as much as possible, and then we'll find ourselves a decent base location. Yeah, items go instantly in your backpack, which is perfect. Now, apparently this server is extremely similar to real Rust. That's what I've heard. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, this is a safe zone. There's a recycler here as well. I don't have anything to recycle. There's a vending machine here, so we could buy stuff probably with scrap. Yeah, we could buy some guns. We can buy a blueprint for armor door. Other than that, it's a bunch of junk. Alright, so I'm gonna try to find myself a uh, decent base location. I'm thinking close to perhaps train yard. I think that would be a good idea, actually. So I'll probably just start walking there. In the meantime, farming as much logs, stone as possible so that we can get ourselves a, a base. Yeah, it sure gives us quite a ton of wood, actually. So we should, we should be okay if we farm for around 20 minutes. Alright, so this is the crafting UI. It looks very, very cool, actually. I'm gonna try to make myself a, a hatchet. Yep, there we go. I don't know if I have enough for a pickaxe. No, I don't, sadly. It's alright, but we got ourselves a knack, so we can farm a bit better. But this crafting UI is literally just like the real rust one, which looks very, very cool. Now we should get a lot more wood, yeah. That's great. So over at the gas station, I'm gonna try to get as much components as possible. I don't know if there's a recycler here, but whenever you hit something, it goes automatically straight in your inventory on the server. So even if you don't want to pick something up, it's still gonna be in your inventory. You just have to drop it, I guess. Alright, so putting everything in. Oh, wow, that's quick. Okay, well, this recycler works fast. Damn. Right, we got ourselves a bow from that. I'll take it. You got ourselves some scrap, too. So... Okay, the bow is completely a new mod. I've never seen it before. Yeah, we got ourselves some scrap. Oh, there's a military crate here. Let's hope we get something good. Attack trash. All right. For now, I'm just gonna put in the recycler. Actually, I don't really want it. Alright boys, and base is basically done. I got myself one crate, two cupboard, bed, nothing too crazy for now, but right next to train yard, I think it's a really good location. So my next step is I'm just going to go and try to get myself some more loot. Maybe we'll get ourselves a bunch of frags. There's somebody shooting very, very close. So let's just go try to see what's going on with them. Maybe we'll get ourselves a little racks to riches or something with this bow as a naked. Oh, there are scientists over there. I thought they were not going to be in all monuments. All right, there we go. He is... He's down. All right. There's a down feature as well. That's kind of cool. I'll just kill him. Oh, and he dropped pants. All right. There we go. Finally, we have some pants, bro. Oh, there's another scientist there. Oh, first person you could barely see, to be honest. Let's just... Oh, there we go. He's just shooting at me now. Yeah, he's down. He didn't see me at first, and then I shot him, and then he spotted me. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And I was just mad up. Currently bleeding out, so... Yeah, he died. My guy had 60 arrows? Alright, well, there we go. That's crazy. Alright, let's see what these boxes have. You yeah, nothing too good. Bunch of components. Alright, so the good thing is... If oh, I'm getting shot at. Oh, that's a, a player. Headshot. 
He's running away. He's a nail gun. Yeah, he's running away. Come back here, dude. There you go. Yeah, he's down. What's up, man? We could kill him with an axe. Alright. Oh my. Okay, and he is quite geared. Yeah, we'll take all of this. He has salvaged pickaxe. He has a lot of frags. Alright, we gotta find a recycler or something. I got a lot of loot. There should be a recycler around here, to be honest. Yeah, there's a lot of nail gun magazines. Probably we'll still go with the bow. Bow is crazy strong. I think it took two headshots to just kill him. Alright, recycler's right in here. There's also a melee crate. That's good. Let's just switch to the axe. Let's just start putting everything in here. All the pipes, propane tanks, rifle bodies. Yeah, items go instantly in your inventory if you already have some of them. It's actually kind of cool. Alright, so I think we should we should run back to base, depot. Home doesn't work here. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but we're just gonna treat it like a, a full vanilla rust turn server then. So I'll just run back. It's all good. There's a few more barrels here, so I'll just hit them. Oh, pipes. Yeah, we have no more space. Oh, I got shot. I'm bleeding out. Bro, I think he came back. Yeah, I'm right next to my base. I don't want him to know that this is my base, though. I'm just gonna keep running. I'm still bleeding. I need a hotkey, a bandage. I forgot to do that. Yeah, I can't home. Oh, no. I could just run straight into my base, but the thing is, I probably will just get risk getting door camped. So I'll try to kill him. He's right there. Headshot. There we go. Bro, this bow is crazy OP. Yeah, it's the same dude. Crossbow, this time salvage pick again. I don't know what to drop. I really would like the crossbow to be honest, but let's just run to base depot and we'll come back for it. I mean, it's literally right here. We need to upgrade our pillars too. Yeah, it's claimed. I don't know what's going on. Let's put everything in here. Already got ourselves a full box. Bro, we got so much though. I need to make more storage. Probably farm a bit of wood next. Just get the crossbow though. Crossbow is definitely an upgrade from a normal wooden bow. Yep, let's go. Got everything. So the first kill we got, you had a bunch of high quality. So I'm going to upgrade as much as possible, man. I can't upgrade anymore. Oh, I think I was actually hitting the already upgraded one. Bro, it's crazy how cheap it is, actually. I thought it takes much more to upgrade. But there we go. We almost have ourselves a full armored base. Yeah, I think I'm out now. Oh, no, I still have. Never mind. We have to upgrade all the pillars. I'm, I'll do those as wood, though. Don't really want to do them as high quality metal or any of that. At some point, I also want to upgrade this base and make it maybe a two floor. Maybe make some honeycomb all around. I think that would be quite strong for our base. Let's upgrade the one back there. I think I've upgraded all of them, actually. And we still have some quite high quality left, so... Water barrel. I don't really want a water barrel, to be honest. Maybe we could try to run to a recycler. If it gives us anything, I don't really know, though. Alright, so next I'll probably go loot somewhere else. Or try to go back to water. Try to go back to train yard, because we didn't really loot it. We just got those two kills. We're already full. First, I'm gonna make myself an airlock over here. Let's get ourselves some wood. Let's get the blueprint out. Put a pillar in the middle there, and then we'll do two doorways. First one here and second one there. Perfect. Now let's switch to the hammer. Oh, I don't have high quality on me. I'm gonna do it high quality instantly, man. You already know. Now we can't do armored doors yet because we need to learn the blueprint for it, apparently. And we also do need to have ourselves workbenches. For certain items, we're gonna need workbench level 1 and so on and so on. So, and for those, we need a lot of high quality. So, we are going to have to actually get ourselves quite a ton of high quality in order to actually craft good weapons, good items. But for now, I do think we're kind of set. So, I'll go for another loot run really quickly. I'll make myself a couple more doors, some sheet metal doors. And then we'll continue for a few more runs. Bro, there's somebody around, man. With a pistol, I really want that pistol. Bro, I just found a room full of crates. Yeah, we're getting ourselves quite decent components, actually. Yep, there we go. And there's also an elite crate here, but yeah, sadly, no weapons. <laughs> I would love a pistol or something like that, man. Oh, wait, what? There's a guy up there. He's on the... What the hell did he get up there? Right, headshot. Shot again. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, he missed, man. How is he not dead? I oh, he missed again. Oh, he's just gonna heal up now. Oh, I think he's pushing for me. Yeah, he's right here. Oh, he missed. Oh, he hit me. Hit him. I hit him again. How the hell is he not dead? Oh, there we go. I'll just kill him. <laughs> he was trying to run away. He's dead. There we go. Crossbow on the pistol. He has a 
face mask as well, I'll take that gladly. Alright, let's just bandage. See what else we could take. He has another crossbow, a bunch of scrap, some sulfur. Let's take the salvaged pickaxe. This guy always has salvaged pickaxe on him, man. Let's take the arrows and let's get out of here. Let's run back to base. Depot this. We got ourselves a pistol, let's go. Alright, so we're gonna get ourselves a, a tier 1 workbench. And I think for our tier 2, we still need to place the tier 1 and so on. So we're gonna have to have three, all three benches. Which does make sense, to be honest. Now we unlock a bunch of recipes. It doesn't work like a tech tree, though. But when we open the crafting UI, then we are able to craft certain items. Alright, so for a level 2, we're going to need, uh, we're gonna have to make ourselves furnaces too, actually, I forgot about those. Yeah, but yeah, they only require mostly high-quality metal, which thankfully we do have quite a ton of. And if you recycle stuff, it's actually not that easy. It's actually not that hard to get. So we also got workbench level 2 ready. Let's go. Now I just need to farm a bit for the level 3, and then we can start making... Uh, Weapons. Now, mostly on this server, weapons also just require high quality. Some of them require springs and so on, though. But for example, in MP5, we only need high quality metal. Which is honestly quite easy to make, to be honest. But they require, like, a lot of high quality metal, not 50 or any of that. So probably what we're going to do is we're going to farm as much high quality metal as possible. And I'm pretty sure then scrap is used so that you can buy stuff from the safe zone. Some weapons, you cannot craft them, obviously. And there's also you can buy jackhammer, and that's probably what I will buy with them. But we'll do that much, much later. It's not really important right now. Oh my, okay, I got uh, an AK from this. Bro, I didn't know AKs were dropped from random elite crates. That's crazy. All right, so I'm over here naked. I came here with barely anything. Kind of surprised that I got an AK. reason why I came naked is because I was, it's, it's kind of far from my base and I didn't want to risk having a uh, pretty good loot on me. But now I got to run all the way back and depot this AK. Their first also weapon. Probably still loot around though. I mean, maybe there's more elite crates around. Yeah, there is literally one over here. Oh, we got four- what? Okay, we got four lockers from that. Bro, wow, that's crazy. I should have built close to here. Alright, so we're back in base. I'm gonna place four lockers I got. I don't even know if I have enough space. I could just put one in the airlock for now. And then when we do the honeycomb, I'll just move it around. Let's put all of those items that we got. Probably gonna run around with the crossbow still. I'm not, still not gonna run around with the AK because I only had like five bullets. Yeah, there's somebody shooting. Actually, I'm gonna go with the pistol, maybe. I don't know if that was a scientist or if that was an actual player. If it's an actual player and he has a pistol, I think now we have a higher chance of killing him. Alright, so I got all three and I managed to craft myself a Thompson. Actually huge, I'm not gonna lie. Now, at some point, I need to figure out how to make ammo. I'm pretty sure we just need gunpowder and sulfur for that, but we need a furnace. So it's probably going to be my next step as well for progression. Obviously, I'm not gonna run around with a Thompson, though. I'm gonna keep it in here. Then later on, I will just run around with them. Even AK, perhaps, at some point. Alright, let's go for another run. I'm gonna make myself some more bandages. There we go. Let's just... Wait, I don't think I have enough, actually. No, I don't. Yeah, now we do. Alright, so it's gonna be probably a bit more farming now. There's somebody shooting in here. Yeah, and he's with a bow. Alright, let's just push with Thompson. Yeah, there we go. He's dead. Alright. Yep, he had a bunch of... Uh, he has some, some ammo, so I'll take that. He also killed... Oh, he has a bunch of scopes. He also killed a scientist. I'll take that. We have some sights, bro. Let's go. Right, let's go back to depot. Back in base. Not too bad. Pretty good loot. There's also random scientists all around, man. It's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. They're not just in monuments. There's another one over there. Right, let's reload. I'm out of ammo, I think. All right, let's see what this dude here had. Cactus! Yo, so much insane loot. Alright boys, I'm back from a pretty good run with sulfur. I'll put these in the furnaces. Wait, what? Wait, it cooked without wood. But we got less sulfur. Bro, we can get sulfur without wood. Oh my god, that's actually incredible. I don't know if that's intentional, but... Oh, that's crazy. Even if we put wood, we'll just get charcoal then. Okay, yeah. We get a lesser amount. I think if we just put charcoal... I think if we just put wood and sulfur, we'll get the exact same amount though. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are set with the amount of gunpowder that I have just crafted. I have a locker full 
of full stacks of gunpowder. <laughs> That's so much, man. All right, so now we can just make as much ammo as we really want to, actually. Now, at some point in this video, I want to do an oil rig run. Apparently, over there is some of the best loot that you can get. There's going to be a bunch of scientists. There's going to be high tier loot. So, we'll do that at some point today. I do want to do that. Something else that I want to do is, obviously honeycombing the base i haven't started doing any of that yet so i may do that quite soon but i may need to farm a bit more wood because i don't think i actually have enough to do that and so i'm gonna make myself some ammo so some pistol ammo which is good for my tummy put all of these back in there we have uh, we have enough ammo now hopefully or i can barely see him hit him oh and i got one tapped all right great well i just lost myself uh thompson and there's somebody coming with a mini copter and I am dead. Bro, that scientist just destroyed me. <laughs> I didn't know they could kill you that easily, man. And those guns are so strong. Uh, it's honestly fine. I mean, I lost a Thompson. The only Thompson. But I can make myself way more. I'll just craft myself a weapon. Let's get ourselves a bunch of high quality. Let's go next to the workbench. And we got ourselves an MP5. Alright, great. I'll try to go back. Let's get ourselves some pistol ammo. We got ourselves an MP5. And let's go. Wait, there's somebody in here. Yeah, he's with a bow. There we go, he's down. I'll just take him out. Get some okay load. Bunch of components, nothing crazy. He killed a scientist up there, but this scientist only drops trash. Mostly, he just drops pants. Let's see if he dropped... Oh, he died. Yeah, he dropped arrows this time. There's another scientist here. Let's just kill him. Water barrel. There's a dude there. Hit him twice. Yeah, he's down. Oh my god, he's... Bro, he has a bunch of components. He has so much materials. Yo, I'll take all of these and he'll just run back to base. That's actually a really good kill, man. Look at this. We have three stacks of sulfur. Yeah, I'm running back to base, man. I'm kind of far away. I was gonna do another oil rig run or try to. I'm gonna change of plans. All right, and we managed to make it back to base. Let's go. Wait, there's people outside my base. I'm gonna push out. Oh, he's right here. Hit him. Close the door. Bro, this guy's just jumping everywhere. Hit him again. Yeah, he's down. I'm just gonna dab on him. Yeah, he's dead. I don't have anything. Just a bow. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think it is time to start upgrading base. As soon as I see people outside my base, it's always time to upgrade because they're gonna be back. So I'm just gonna farm as much wood as possible and we'll start to do honeycomb. Wait, what? Oh my god, I'm gonna break my own house. I'll just destroy this so he doesn't hide. Wait, I think he only came with one shot. Bro, he's making me break my own house. Why oh, he hit me? There we go, he's dead. Dude, I'm not gonna finish him actually. Let's just continue build. Bro, he made me destroy my own doorway. I just met up right in front of him. We could just continue building so that he doesn't have time. We're wasting his time so that he cannot just... Actually, let's just eliminate him so that he <laughs> wouldn't just look at us. It feels weird. All right, but now it's time to upgrade as much as possible, as quickly as possible. And then... Okay. What? I, I only have a little stone, man. There's only a stone? Oh, please, man. I only have a stone. I, I have nothing else. That's all right, I, man. I, I, I won't kill else. you. I only have a stone, man. Please. That's fine. I won't kill you. Please. So I managed to upgrade all of it. For now, it's just wood. But better than nothing. We'll upgrade it later. So probably full quality. But what I'm going to do is all of these. Then I'll just put a bunch of walls. But I'm going to try to get actually as much high quality as possible. Let's put all of these in here. We have ourselves an empty box. We'll put the water pipe. It has no ammo, but better than nothing. Let's make ourselves some doors too for, for extra protection.
All right, so I basically spent all night just upgrading the honeycomb, made myself a room for the second floor as well so that I can get on the roof. Then as soon as it got day, I got myself my MP5 and decided that it was time to go for another run. All right, boys, I also crafted myself a rocket launcher, our first raiding weapon. Comes with a rocket, apparently, so that's perfect. But I'm not really focused on raiding, to be honest. I'm focused on just getting myself some high-tier loot, mainly. Plus, there aren't really any bases to raid. I haven't seen any, to be honest, that much. All right, guys, I managed to craft myself my first sentry, so I'll place it out here. Put an MP5 in it, so if there's any more door campers or any of that, then we would know. Even if it doesn't kill them, at least we would just know because of the... The beep that it does, you know? I'll just continue running around with the bow then. Alright, so I'm gonna take the AK that I have. And I am going to go do a oil rig run. I made myself a skull, made myself some attachments, got myself a ton of ammo. And I'm gonna take a heavy mask with me. So I'm gonna make myself some, some cow clothes. Because why not? There we go, we got ourselves the shirt. And I think we don't have enough for the pants. But it's fine, we'll go do a run. Let's hope that we don't die this time. And if somebody is there, we will kill him. Because there was somebody going with a minicopter last time. Kind of sucks that I died. I could have gotten an easy kill there. All right, here we go. One right here, dead. He had a hat. Insane load, bro. <laughs> There's one pushing me right now. There we go, dead. An Eoka pistol. Okay. Uh, this dude dropped a pistol. I'll take that. Any more over here? Yeah, there's one right there. They push for you, though. They're not just standing still. Yeah, he's dead. My guy had arrows. Insane. So we're gonna try to hit as much of these as possible because they actually give us quite a ton of high quality and so on. Plus, you don't even have to pick anything. All I have to do is just hit them. Are there any more? Oh, yeah. There's two over here. All right, both dead. Uh, a riot helmet. Uh, that's good. I'm pretty sure the best loot is gonna be at the very top. Let's just go over there. We don't need the corn seed, bro. Let's continue hitting these barrels. Oh, this server is so cool, man. Having a great time here as a solo. And the fact that there is no home is honestly much more fun because it's kind of risky. And people, you can kill them when they're running back to their base. They're full of loot and so on. It's kind of cool. Yeah, we're getting a bunch of loot from this. I need to see where the elite crates and so on are, though. Come on, man, break. There we go. There's a recycler here, perfect. Oh, there's somebody with a bunch of cloth. For some reason, it only stacks up to 10 cloth on the server. And there we go, they're all ready. Let's put a bunch of uh, rope. Get ourselves a bunch of cloth. We can make a bunch of bandages with that, actually. I'm gonna do that. And just do it as much. There we go. 60 bandages currently being crafted. Let's put these items back as well. Ourselves a bunch of more items. I'm getting so much metal, man. Crazy. I'm not gonna do the... I'm gonna keep the riot helmet, though. Put these as well. Wait, I think I heard steps. Could be a, a scientist though, I'm not sure. Here ourselves a bunch of more scrap, so... Now on the way back, we're gonna have to pass a uh, elite crate. Oh, there's one of these. Alright, let's go. Oh, that dropped a, a bunch of lockers? Okay. That's it? A bunch of face masks, too. I was hoping for guns, though. <laughs> we got we got a bunch of lasers, too. I'll take lasers. This pistol came with a scope. We'll put a... Wait, there's somebody around. Yeah, I hear steps. Yeah, he's up there. How the hell did he get up here? What? What? My gun just went away. Yeah, my guy's running from me. I don't know where he is. Where the hell did he go? Bro, I don't know if he has a weapon or any of that. I don't really want to die. Oh, he broke the elite crate. I think. Yeah, he's dead. I have a bunch of junk. He had a compound bow. And I just put these items back in the recycler. And then let's get out of here. I'm gonna go by the safe zone and I'm gonna buy myself a jackhammer with this scrap, by the way. That's what I want to do. Yeah, I don't think we can... Oh, we can salvage lockers. What? I think they give us high quality. I'll keep one locker. We do have a lot of space in base, so... Yeah, that dude broke the elite crate. All right, let's just get out of here. I mean, we did the oil rig run. I was kind of hoping for better guns. The only guns we got was a pistol. Well, maybe we were just un unlucky. All right, so on our way back... Told you guys I'm gonna buy jackhammer, and that's what I'm gonna do. We have enough, thankfully. We can buy corn and mushrooms, but nah. All right, yeah, X is a secondary, so we can still have a gun out. That's good, though. Now our walk back to base. Alright boys, so after that I made it back to base, depoted everything, and then I left the server. It was a pretty good run. Had a really 
fun time. If you guys want to play on the server, I will have the IP and the porn in the description below. Maybe I'll see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.